Now let's bring in a very, very cool podcaster, great guy, uh, comedy show. He's funny, but he's also really, really smart. And another freedom fighter, Jimmy Dore, everybody. For sticking around. You know, I may not agree with everybody on this stage here on everything, but we agree on the important things freedom of speech and the First Amendment. I was just in Canada where they have no First Amendment, they have no freedom of speech. I actually, when I was there, I bumped into Justin Trudeau. I was at a meeting of guys who saw the Barbie movie alone. And he was there. <laughs> what I, I don't have much time to talk, but what I want to make it, it, what's the most important thing is that we, not, we have to stop listening to the corporate media. The corporate media works for the international billionaire elites who want us fighting each other and blaming each other for everything that's wrong instead of keeping our eyes on them. I fell for the propaganda around COVID. I was convinced if I got COVID, I was going to die. I was the first one in I, I, I wore I did everything. I locked down. I wiped down. I wore a mask. I didn't wear a mask in the car alone. I wasn't that guy. Whenever I see those people, I want to go, do you wear a seatbelt when you're watching television? But I was the first in line to get the vax, and I was like, hey, since I'm the first one, is the vaccine safe? And they go, yeah, it's safe. I was like, well, can I see the vaccine trial data? And they go, we're not going to release that for 75 years. I was like, oh, did Pfizer kill Kennedy? <laughs> so I got the vax, and I was like, hey, I'm going to go home. They go, you can't go home. You have to stay here for 15 minutes in case you die. I was like, you sons of bitches. You told me it was safe. They go, it is safe. What are you, anti-vax? I just got the vax, fuckface. So, so at, here, I, they go, you have to stay here for 15 minutes in case you die. 15 minutes in case I go, if I, my, my heart explodes, because that's what they said. They go, we have to monitor you for 15 minutes in case your heart explodes. Hey, if my heart explodes, I'm going to sue the shit out of everybody. They said you can't sue if your heart explodes because they passed the law saying you can't sue if you get injured by the vax. I was like, why would they pass a law like that? They go, because it's safe. And I'm not saying that the COVID-19 vaccine doesn't work. All I'm saying is everybody I know who got the COVID-19 va vaccine then got COVID. Is that how vaccines work now? Could you imagine if we all got the polio vaccine and in the same year we all got polio? I'd be like, hey, I don't think that polio vaccine works. Why do you say that, Jim? I got fucking polio! <laughs> But then there's always some asshole, well, it's not supposed to stop you from getting it. It's just supposed to lessen your symptoms. Oh, well, then I guess it worked. I guess it worked. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a success story over here. Put me on the poster for the facts. Yep. <laughs> anyway, we got to stop listening to the media. All they do is divide us, no matter what the story is. You know, journalists used to come from blue-collar backgrounds, and they weren't looking to make friends with the elite. They were looking to make the life uncomfortable for the elite. Well, now, billionaires own the media like Jeff Bezos, and the journalists come from Ivy League institutions and Ivy League schools, and they choose them to cover the news because they know they're going to be class loyal. And, man, are they. No matter what it is, they report it in a way that divides the country. It could be climate change. It could be January 6th could be Black Lives Matter or Kyle Rittenhouse. Now, I hated Kyle Rittenhouse because the media told me he was a white supremacist who didn't live in that community. He traveled across state lines.
lines with guns, and he shot three black people. And I hated him, and then I watched the trial, and it turns out he did live in that community. He was a lifeguard in that community. He didn't travel across state lines with guns, and he didn't shoot three black people. He shot three white people. And I was like, that's different. He shot three white people. That's a pretty remedial white supremacist. I bet he took a lot of shit back at the meeting. <laughs> Kyle, what are you doing? It was my first day. <laughs> it was dark. I'm allergic to pedophiles. Oh my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> we got to stop. The media told me that January 6th undermined our democracy. First of all, that's adorable, because we don't live in a democracy. We live in an oligarchy. It didn't undermine shit. They told me all those people on January 6th were trying to overthrow the government. Really? A bunch of Second Amendment gun nuts showed up at the Capitol to overthrow the government, and son of a bitch, they forgot their guns. <laughs> Boy, I bet they were embarrassed. Mike, you got the guns? Ah! Oh, I brought mittens. They weren't trying to overthrow the government. Really? A bunch of guys in pajama bottoms and buffalo helmets stealing a podium? I'm overthrowing the government. They were just pissed off protesters, and half of them got let in by the cops who took the fence away, and the other half got pushed in by the FBI plants in the crowd, and I know it because I saw it on TV. Those cop what part of the cops swinging the doors wide open taking selfies with the protesters makes you think that it was a setup? They did everything except erect a bouncy house inside the Capitol. And they didn't even know what they were doing when they got in there. They went to Nancy. They were like, what do we do? Let's go to Nancy Pelosi's office and take a shit. That's not a coup. That's a poo. And now they're using lawfare. Anybody who stands up against the establishment, they put in jail. And it's not just in America, it's international billionaires that run everything. In Pakistan, Imran Khan said, we don't want to go along with NATO wars, the people of Pakistan want peace, and that guy's in jail now. Remember, they don't ever censor lies, they censor the truth. Julian Assange was in prison, not because he lied, but because he told the truth about the war machine. And they can do it to anybody. They were doing it to stop Cop City protesters who were protesting the expansion of the police state. They used the same RICO statute and the same grand jury to prosecute them that they did Donald Trump. That shows you if they can do it to them, they'll do it to anybody who stands up against the establishment. It could be me, it could be you, it could be Jill Stein, Donald Trump, Bernie Sanders, no matter who it is, they're going to use lawfare and make you a fucking criminal because that's the name of the game today. So we have to stand up against it and we have to stand up for everybody's freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is not for the speech that we like. It's for the speech that we hate. When I grew up in Chicago, literal Nazis would march every year. They would march in Skokie, which was a suburb filled with Jewish people. And the Jewish people let them march because they loved freedom of speech more than they hated Nazis. So that's how much we have to love freedom of speech. Right now, there's a wave of censorship happening in protests. The, that means we have to stand up for the right of protest for pro-Palestinian protesters. Because if they can shut them down, they can shut us down. And the people who want to shut down the pro-Palestinian protesters say, well, those college protesters, they don't even know what they're protesting for. And it's a good thing they don't, because if they did, they'd be fucking right. I have my Zionist friends 
who try to get me to go along with Israel, they say, they say to me, they go, Jimmy, you know, I know you support the LGBTQ. You know who doesn't? Hamas. Hamas doesn't support gay people. What do you say to that, Jimmy? I say, oh, I guess we should slaughter their children. Anyway, people say that Israel's the only democracy in the Middle East. You know why? Because we overthrew all the other fucking democracies so we could steal their oil. The only thing that scares the establishment is what's happening at this rally here today. People from the left and the right coming together to realize we have more in common that divides us and we share a common enemy. And that common enemy is the oligarchy who did a controlled demolition of our economy during COVID. And they want me to hate my neighbor for all the pain I'm feeling because he wouldn't take a vaccine that didn't work the way they said it did in the first fucking place. Well, I'm not going to hate my neighbor. I'm going to love my neighbor because they're hurting just like me. And I'm going to join to overthrow those cocksucking oligarchs because that's the only thing that's going to work. And if everybody on the right could just realize that everybody on the left likes Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Demented Joe, we just want to end those wars, invest that money back in America, and have health care that doesn't bankrupt us. And if you could figure that out, it would go a long way. And if everybody on the left could realize that everybody on the right is a white supremacist Nazi gun nut, they're just fucking gun nuts. <laughs> And I love them, and I love you too. Stay together. Fuck the media. Fuck the media. Wow, Jimmy Dore, everybody. Jimmy Dore.